Welcome to the short demo of the add-on functionality Lifecycle State Update Permission, which is part of Advanced Asset Management for Asset Management in Dynamics 365. So today I want to show you how you can set up that a worker should only have permission to update the lifecycle states to those specific states that you allow. So in the standard, if we go to our lifecycle models, here under Setup and Work Orders, then here we have the option to choose our lifecycle state updates. So this is the standard setup where you have the option to limit which states you can shift to and from. So for example, we've set up that when we have a new work order, we can put it to released and we can put it to completed. And when the work order is released, we can put it back to new, but we can also schedule it and we can put it to pending. And when the work order is scheduled, we can put it back to released, but we can also set it to progress and to pending and send it out for repair. So this is the standard setup we have here in asset management. But this setup applies for all workers, which means that in the standard, you cannot set up that some workers should not be allowed to, for example, financially close the work order. But we can't do this with this add-on functionality, which I want to show you now. So if we go to our setup, we here have the lifecycle state update permissions. And in here, we want to create a new, and then we want to choose the lifecycle state type. And we can set permissions up for functional locations, assets, requests, but today we want to do it for our work order lifecycle states. And then here you need to choose the worker which you need to set permissions up for. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose myself like this. And then we, of course, want to see our work order lifecycle states down here in permission states. So here you just mark the ones that you want to be able to shift to and from. So I want to put it to new, released, scheduled, send out for repair, in progress, completed, finished. So now we have this set up and I can save it here. But then maybe I don't want to financially close the work order. So let's just go ahead and put that one back. So this is our final setup. So these are the states that I am allowed to select. And these are the states that I cannot select. And of course, you can always edit this setup as you like. But let's go to our work orders. And down here, I have created a new one. And let's just go ahead and update the state to released. And then I want to schedule the work order to myself. And yes, it should be scheduled. You can see here, now it is in the state scheduled. And I'm not allowed to put it in pending because that is what we set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it to in progress. And then I want to complete the work order. And I just want to change the dates up so they are not the same. Yes. So now you can see that I have completed the work order, but I'm not allowed to put it to finish. So I'm not allowed to financially close the work order. So this is basically how the lifecycle state update permission functionality works. And if you have questions or want to know more, please reach out to us on info at dynaway.com.